just exercise the digits. Clean out the truck. <laughs> hey, tell me, do you remember this song? I don't know why you're playing it. I'd be grateful for amnesia right now. <laughs> I don't know that, but you're home and I'll busk it. <laughs> Listen, I haven't seen you for six months. Where have you been? I've been doing six months. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry, that was an ill timed jest. I do apologize. It, it's just a joke. It was just. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, Shirley, I can sit here sometimes and just strum away on the instrument alone. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, despite the banter, which went extremely well. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Shirley Bassey. I must say, that's the first time I've seen a dress that's been backcombed. <laughs> <laughs> may, I say, <laughs> may I say, Shirley, you're a vision of loveliness, a tender rose trapped between the pages of time itself. You have graced this humble little offering with your effervescent persona. As our producer said in a rare moment of sobriety, what a better way than to rescue an aging performer's career than by teaming him up with a megastar. I said, well, I'll try anything once, <laughs> but I don't think even Rambo could save her career. <laughs> That was it a joke? I meant that, fatty. <laughs> Good, I can't stand jokes like that. Shirley, don't go away, please. Oh. I rented these microphones from Battley Variety Club. For what? <laughs> After the last time you were there. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that's not nice. Not nice.